We made a few significant updates in iMonit we wanted to walk you through. Let's start with the most obvious, the home screen. The home screen underwent a complete makeover. In addition, we added a time-saving functionality. In the navigation menu, Networks has been replaced with locations for most users. The addition of the locations feature represents an upgrade in user security and access. This update will allow users to easily generate sub-accounts to better manage growth. This video will walk you through the changes and address questions you may have. Let's start with the home dashboard cards, sensors, gateways, account information, recent reports, sensor list, rules triggered, and favorites. All cards will be clickable and interactive. Clicking on sensors will take you to your sensors list and so forth. You can now get to any category without needing to go to the navigation panel. From your sensors card, you'll see how many of your sensors are alerting, warning, active, or offline. All data will be conveniently displayed in a pie chart with the total number of sensors displayed in the upper right. Our next card is Gateways. From Gateways, you'll see a dedicated pie chart showing how many of your gateways are alerting, warning, active, and online, along with the total number of gateways you've added in the upper right corner. Account information is next. This user profile card features user details and account notification updates. From Premier Membership expiration dates to calibration certificates soon to expire, you'll see it here. Moving over to Recent Reports, your last five reports will populate here for quick access. Clicking on an individual report will take you into the report history. Notice from here, you can add this report to your Favorites card by clicking the heart, but more about Favorites later. Sensor List. Here you can review a listing of each sensor by unique name and status. To view an individual sensor, select the sensor. This will take you to the Sensor History, Sensor Reading section. If no sensors have been added, you'll see Add Devices in the box. Current Users Sensor List will auto-populate into the Sensors List. Scroll down to see all your sensors. Again from here, you can add the sensor to your Favorites card by clicking the heart. Moving down to Rules Triggered. Watch your rules, both acknowledged and not acknowledged. Noticed Acknowledged and Not Acknowledged are displayed with a color code for easy recognition. By selecting the icons, you'll be able to complete actions such as resetting the rule or acknowledging the rule among others. If no rules have been created, the card will be blank. Favorites. Add anything you want to access fast as a customizable quick link, like sensors, gateways, or maps. Favorites has a limit of 25 selections. To add a favorite, Find the mini heart on the data card and click. To remove an item from favorites, simply click on the item and unselect the heart. Once you've added data, you can access an overview for additional actions by clicking the mini three dots. Arrange your selections in order of importance. This feature adds more accessibility to your account. To remove an item from favorites, simply click on the item or the three dots and unselect the heart. To add to the functionality, the cards are collapsible on mobile to see more or less. Favorites will show empty until you add an item. You will only see categories from items you've added. In the navigation menu, a new section is available called Locations. This will replace networks for most users. This update will allow users to easily generate sub-accounts to better manage growth while streamlining paying for subscriptions and experience greater data security. Note. Current users pre-update can still see and create networks. However, a limit of new network creation is 5. New users will not see networks. Select the Location tab in the left-hand navigation sidebar. This brings you to your main location screen. On the top of the main location screen, notice four data cards. Locations, Alerting, Warning, Offline. These colors easily convey an overview of the status of your location. To view an individual location, simply click the Location Account card. This will bring you to sub-accounts you've created within that specific location. From here, you can dive in deeper and look at data for a specific sub-account. Notice each sub-account has data points that correspond to the data cards. As we dive deeper into multiple tiers, we can see data for these sub-accounts. Adding a location. On the location screen, 
Click on Add Location. The new location dialog box will appear. If this is your first sub-account, the parent location will populate the account name. If this is a multiple sub-account, you can search for previous company names created to assign as a parent location. Assigning a parent will determine where your new sub-account and tiers live. Add a unique company name in the designated field. Select your subscription level. Note, all new accounts are offered a 45-day free Premier trial. Select the applicable region and time zone and click Next. A new account is now created and listed in locations. We've added shapes to your account cards to easily identify if a sub-account is a standalone or a multiple tiered. Shapes are an added feature to visually confirm the depth of the account. The shape displayed indicates the account type. Circles means a standalone account, only one account has been created. Squares means multiple sub-accounts have been created. Navigation arrow. A navigation arrow on the top of the screen helps map how deep you are in the account and what you've selected. You see a blue solid line at the end of the bar, you've reached the end of your depth. The three dots on the location card are quick links to other sections in your iMonit account. Selecting any of these takes you out of locations and brings you to the designated function. Thank you for watching. Feel free to contact us if you have further questions.